So welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at react parallax package and by the way we are going to try to use this package and this is the final project we are going to create now as you can see in here if i try to scroll down the background image is slow than the text we have in here than the whole element in this page you see that it's like uh, the image stick in there so next this is a dynamic blur before we scroll down the image don't have any blur in here but if we try to scroll now the image is a blur okay the next thing is a reverse direction is basically the background image is more fast than the text we have in here or than the whole element in this page you see that and the last is we are going to create a circle element and the circle element will becoming really bigger when we try to scroll down depending on we scroll down on scroll up and also we are going to changing the opacity depending on when we scroll down and scroll up okay we are going to create that so let's close let's stop the server for now this is the final project by the way okay so close that all right so i have already create react app in here you can do npx create react app and dot meaning generate create create react app in this folder which is scrolling app folder Okay, I'm not going to do that because I have already doing that and in here I have already removed couple file uh, we don't have the logo and basically I just removed the logo but I want to remove the app.css also so remove that and we're gonna working just in app.js basically I removed the logo I removed the heading so let's try to save and run the app we can do npm start and let's open another terminal we are gonna install react parallax package you can do npm install react dash parallax enter all right so this is done let's see i have this link which is my image right now so i want to bring in the variable in here you can use any image you want or you can use this image as, as well you can check my link in the description below the first thing what we are going to do is import parallax it should be from react parallax and to use this package we can we can just simply remove the hedge one and we're gonna bring in the parallax in here say parallax and inside parallax i want to create a div with the text uh, to say html or the text i'm using inside the parallax all right so if i try to save just close the terminal in here if i save now and see in the browser we have the HTML inside Parallax, but we don't have any background. So let's do in here. You can specify the background image using BG image. So that equals to whatever you want. For example, I just want to bring the variable image one. Say image one. Save. Let's see. See that we have the background right now, but I want to add a hake in here so we can do diff and i want to bring in the text inside in here and just make that look like this and in here i want to create inline style so that equals to i want to create a hake and 
let's set to 500 pixel so save and now we should see image with 500 pixel hake all right so now let's styling the text in here we can do just give a style in here and i want to set that equals to inline style which is variable we are going to create in here so cons inline style set that equals to object and let's try to change the background to white and see this is work uh yeah we get a background white right now so we need to bring the text to the center so we can do left 50 percent and top 50 percent and we can do position to relative position absolute i mean <laughs> Alright, so let's try to save and see in the browser. This is what we have, so let's add a padding. Let's give a 20 pixel. And I want to make that in the center so we can do transform. You can say translate. And you can do minus 50% comma minus 50 percent so now save and see in the browser you should see in the center right now okay so cool and in here i want to add div with the style i just give a div i want to give us inline style in here and i want to add hake by the way so we can scroll down hake to just say five not 500 to say 100 view hake okay so should be inside a quote like that save and see now you can scroll down okay pretty cool and to implement the parallax effect by the way we can just do it's very simple basically we can do inside a parallax in here call strength and set that equals to whatever you want for example i just set to 500 save and let's see what we have basically the background image is slower than the whole element we have in this page okay pretty awesome you can play around with this basically you can do uh 600 it's of course it's more slow than the element we have okay just make that 500 okay and the next thing i'm gonna show you is the blur effect so let's add h1 in here just give a like that and we are going to just copy this parallax and paste in here and the background image we're going to use in image 2 and the hake the text it should be dynamic blur okay and we don't need strength in here we need to set the blur right now and set it equals to gonna give a minimum to minus one and for the maximum let's set to six okay so let's try to save that and uh, it's not center so let's fix that i'm gonna give a style in here just give a inline style so that equals to uh to say text align center so save and should be in the center right now cool so if i try to scroll down uh, uh you cannot see the 
blur effect so let's make more blur in the maximum in here we can do uh, whatever we want let's say 50 save and see right now here we go uh, before we scroll up before we scroll down uh, in here we don't have the blur right when we scroll down now it's blur of course you can play around with this if you want uh, to say five okay I think five is fine so another thing I want to show you is create the reverse a direction so let's go back to the code and we're gonna copy this thing right here and paste down here and we're gonna remove the blur and for the text you're gonna change that to reverse direction and in here you're gonna using strength again should be uh, minus 500 okay so now we should see uh, it thinks the image should be image 3 let's try to see now the bigger image is faster than the whole element we have uh, I think it's really fast. I don't like 500, just say 200. So save and see. Okay, it's pretty cool. So next, I'm going to create the circle element. So let's copy that and paste in here can give a background image to image 4 and strings to 200 just change the text to render props and basically you can make that look like this and in here we're gonna add render layer you can do render layer set it equals to you can say percentage and in here i'm gonna create a diff and just empty diff but we're gonna add style in here this represent the circle element we can do like that and give a style set it equals to gonna set the position to absolute and give a width for now just say 100 pixel and for the hake say 100 pixel and just give a background to let's try to see a red and just make that in the center so we can do left uh, fifty percent top fifty percent and transform of course should be uh, translate minus fifty percent comma minus fifty percent. So let's try to save now and see what we have. Uh, we cannot see the circle because let's see. Let's make that a little bigger. So 400 pixel. Um, we still cannot see that. Oh, really? It should hate, not hick. Is that? So let's remove that, it should be hake. 
all right so let's try to save and see here we go we have a red box with the background red so let's make that circle so we can do border radius basically same here we can do border radius so that it goes to a 50 percent to make that circle so here we go and uh, for the begin with we're gonna add, start from 100 pixel just add scale in here we can do scale scale is a basically you try to make that bigger or smaller so say for example 2 if I save now it should be like that if I add uh, maybe 5 and it should be more bigger basically we can try to see what the percentage in here I'm going to console log that so in here I just try to say console log should be inside in something like that you can say console log the percentage so if I save now and see in the console and if i try to scroll now we should have number number should be come from 0 0, 0 0.0 to 1 there we go you see until the image background image gone you cannot see anything it should be 1 but when we start from here should be a zero okay should be zero point zero zero i don't know but until one okay so we get this number and we can't do anything with this number and we are going to add the number inside in here we can do let's bring the variable in here you can say percentage Uh, we need to using tactic by the way so we can use the variable uh, where's that here we go and should be percentage and let's remove that we're gonna time with say five so now it should be depending on when we scroll down on we scroll up it should be more bigger because uh, this percentage is basically have a different value when we try to scroll down and scroll up okay that's basically the idea so let's try to change the opacity as well we can do in background we don't need red maybe we can do rgba to say 255 comma 123 1 to say 23 and in here i'm going to wait bringing the variable again which is the percentage of course we need to use backtick in here and just bring in the percentage and we're gonna time with one right now so let's try to save now and see we have the opacity but when we try to scroll down the opacity is, is will be coming a uh, one okay here we go yeah i think that's it but i, I hope you get the idea so we can implement this parallax effect in your next project and yeah, as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.